Hi, Alina here. Today I want to show you how to make this fun and easy catch-all box. I got this idea from a Crafters Companion subscription magazine. And uh, once I saw the, the box there, I knew I had to make it. And I was able to figure out the dimensions and how to score it properly so I can make it really easy for myself. I'm starting with a piece of cardstock that's 7 inch by 6 inch. And I'm bringing my scoreboard in. I will have to uh, score the short side, the six inch side. I will have to score on three, uh, one and a half, and four and a half. Basically what happens, I am scoring the six inch into four equal parts. So one and a half, three, four and a half. Now on the long side, you're not going to do any scoring right now. You're just going to take a pencil and you'll do the same thing. You have to split it in four. So you'll make a mark at three and a half, one and three quarters, five and a quarter. And do the same on the bottom side, the seven inch long side, three and a half, five and a quarter, one and three quarters. So you basically split the seven inch into four equal parts. Now you can start doing your scoring, but on my uh, scoreboard, I have marked the six inch, so it's gonna make it easier for me to score because the lines are, um, the way I'm gonna have to score is from the middle of my six inch, so that's my starting point. I'm gonna have to connect that point with my first marking on the bottom, the seven inch uh, side on the bottom. So I'm gonna go from half the three inch to uh, one and three quarters and then i'm going to move my paper over from the corner to my second marking on my bottom uh the bottom of my paper then from first marking to the third marking on the bottom second marking on the top to the corner of the paper i'm sorry you can't really see the corner of the paper but you just line it up with the corner of the paper and you score it and then the third marking on the top, you're going to go all the way to the middle of the side, which is the three inch. Then you're going to turn the paper around and you're going to go the opposite direction. This way you'll create a diamond-like pattern. So again, from the half uh, on the six inch to the first marking on the bottom, from the corner to the second marking on the bottom, from the first marking on the top to the third marking on the bottom, and then you'll keep on going, second marking to the corner. Once again, I'm sorry, I, uh, I'm running out of, uh, you can't really see it in the video, but you're gonna do from the third marking to the middle of the side, the short side. So this way you have created like a diamond-like pattern. Now you'll have to take a pair of scissors and you'll have to remove the pieces that I have uh, marked. It's so basically you're gonna take the corners out and you're gonna be left with a hexagon shape i'm using a pair of scissors and i'm cutting all those corners it's very easy to do you can use a trimmer or you can use your scissors very comfortable with the scissors and uh, this is not a uh, science uh, project it's just a uh, fun project to do it's not about being perfect it's about just having fun so as i said you're left with a um, hexagon shape now you're going to have to do uh, remove a few uh, that triangular that one and the three triangulars at the top. So with the scissors again, or with a, a paper trim or whatever you're comfortable with, just remove the pieces that are marked out. And uh, now you're gonna be left with this shape. Uh, there's nothing to remove at this point. All you have to do is cut a few slits. And I'm marking uh, with a pencil so you know where you have to cut. Basically, you cut on the line all the way to the point of intersection. So there are five cuts that you need to make. And you'll notice here that I am cutting on the markings that I have made. So all the way to the point of intersection uh, on all five cuts. But you will see here that I forgot to cut on my fifth line. So I should have kept on going and cut on the uh, the fifth line. So you see here that I forgot. Okay, that's how you go all the way to the point of intersection. And now I thought I was almost uh, done cutting. So I'm removing the pencil marks and I will need to fold on the scored lines. So that's what I'm doing next. I'm putting my scoreboard away scoring board away and I am uh, just folding on the score lines 
just to make sure that it's easier to the box will come together very easier so you'll have to fold on all the lines that's what I did all the scroll lines make sure you fold on all of them and one more set of lines that I was uh, trying to fold on the score lines and now I realize right now that uh, I forgot to cut on that uh, piece uh, that's uh, a line right there so I took my scissors and uh, I cut on that line all the way to the point of intersection again and now the box is going to come together very easily and the best way to glue this box is by using some uh, liquid glue and the one that I like is the uh, multi tumbo mono liquid glue um, and I like it because it's wet glue and you have a little time to maneuver uh, the piece uh, into position so it's all nice so that's the bottom of my box once I glue that in place usually uh, that's easy to do because all the triangulars they're equilateral they have the same uh, the same size so they fit on top of each other very nicely now moving on to the sides and I all you need to do what's left to do is put a little bit of glue on one of the the triangulars and just put it together just hold it together glue it together so that's what I'm doing just keep on going add the glue pinch it together Give it a little time to, to hold the Tombow Mono liquid glue is really good because it dries fairly quickly. And once it dries, nothing will take it apart. Uh, you'll rip the paper, but the, piece of, the pieces will not come undone. So I think this is really great glue. I use it all the time on almost all my projects that, uh, that require wet glue. So um, keep on uh, gluing the, the top pieces I think I have two more left two uh, flaps left to go and uh, once uh, I am done gluing the last flap which I'm going to do right now my box is ready it's coming together very nicely this is such a fun and easy project to do once I made it once I made it again and I made it again and I made it again and I just love this little box it's so cool uh, it comes in handy. I uh, have paper clips and I have sequins and I have uh, bows and uh, whatever I work on little projects that I have pieces that I want to keep but I don't know where to put them. I'll just have a little box like this and just put it. So my box is done and uh, I want to show you a bunch of boxes that I've made. Once you know the concept, I uh, it's very easy to make. I decided to embellish this one. I got some uh, tape from Michaels and uh, I put it on. You can use the double-sided tape or uh, you can be as fancy as you want. But the thicker the paper, the better the box, the better it's going to hold together. So I have all kinds of things. My husband loves this box, so I made him a bunch. Now I was curious, since I had the concept down, just take a piece of paper that, and split the sides into four equal parts. Can I make a bigger one? So I tried with a full sheet of paper. It worked. I was able to make myself another box that's a little bigger than the initial box. However, this one, the bigger one, is not perfect. Uh, I uh, started with a piece of paper that was 11 by 8 and a half. So the triangulars, they're not equilateral. They are not equal sizes. So the box is uh, irregular. It's not perfect like the low one. So a 7 by 6 uh, piece of paper will give you a perfect box. A uh, 11 by 8 and a half will give you an imperfect box. So if that doesn't bother you, then, you know, that's another way to go. I like to experiment. So I was just able, once I got the concept that you can split the sides into four equal parts and then just create that diamond shape, I was like, why not try the bigger one? So I hope you have, um, you have fun watching the video and I hope that you will give this a try and I hope you'll enjoy it as much as I do. And I have to say, be warned, once you do it once, you might do it again and again and again and again. Well, I hope to see you back soon and uh, I wish you all the best.